guys. I'm here with Brian O'Neill, head coach of the Wagner basketball team um, and teacher at Wagner High School. So Brian, first off, um, will you give us a little bit of your background and uh, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Sure, Damian, thanks for having me. Uh, this is I'm, I'm the head basketball coach at Wagner High School. Uh, this is my ninth year here. Um, I came to teach through the alternative certification program uh, prior to that, I was um, been in basketball my whole life. So uh, I was a player in high school and then a manager in college. Uh, graduate assistant at uh, Western Kentucky. After that, um, actually got out of coaching for uh, about two years and um, kind of had this void in my life where I wasn't doing anything that I really felt like I was making a difference. Yeah. Um, so I, I wanted to get back into coaching. I, I ended up moving back here to Louisville, uh, had an opportunity with Ballard and um, was an assistant there for a year and then and then got the job at Wagner. But um, I, I've always kind of felt that need to be in teaching and coaching. Gotcha. Gotcha. Awesome. And what do you teach there? So I'm doing credit recovery right now. Okay. So I've got uh, a lot of students who uh, maybe don't find school as their uh, number one uh, thing they enjoy. Yeah. Um, so we work with them to try to help them um, recover credits so that they can graduate. Sure. I think all most of our school counselors are very familiar with our credit recovery programs and see a huge need um, for really, really uh, good ones that are motivating and inspiring to our kids. Um, so thank you for the work that you do. Um, I did pull you in because, you know, obviously you've always been a friend. Um, and uh, last year I, I kept on seeing this image that you would post um, during your basketball season with this pound the stone image. And I was like, what is that? What is pound the stone? And I finally um, I finally came across it um, when looking it up and, and realized that it was a, a book. Um, I listened to the audio book. Um, and just absolutely fell in love with it. I saw how motivating it could be to, to kids um, and how it just really taught resilience to kids. So um, first off, how did you come across the book? So um, I, I really enjoy um, podcasts, and I think I was just uh, one of the ones I listened to. I, I happened along or find um, or they mentioned Pound the Stone, and I was like, let me check that out. Yeah. So I bought a copy and, and kind of took off from there. Okay. And, you know, you ended up using it with your basketball team. Um, I think you had one of the historic seasons in Wagner High School basketball history. So can you tell us a little bit about um, your process that you use with your players? Yeah. So um, I, first I went to the administration and said I, I really want to try to find something uh, different and use this book. Uh, so they they okayed it and they bought me I think 20 copies and um, you know I had read it so I kind of knew what the book was all about and um, so I wanted to get the kids really you know excited about it um, at first I think there was a little pushback um, you know anytime you're trying to get a bunch of teenage boys to read a book you know it's kind of like come on coach what you know we play basketball but um, I got them to buy into it, and, and they really um, started to enjoy it. Um, it. It certainly didn't happen at, at first, but um, as they read more about it, um, the cool thing about this this story in this in this book was uh, so relatable for them because it's yeah. about a teenage uh, basketball player and kind of the trials and tribulations that he has to undergo to to find success. Yeah, for sure, and. Obviously, it's relatable to your students, but I think it's relatable to many, um, uh, you know, of our youth because just the way the story is set up, um, the way that you've got a high school student that's got to overcome um, a tremendous amount of adversity and, like I said, adversity and, like I said earlier, um, show resilience. Um, I think it's going to be uh, applicable to to most of our kids. Um, so, you know. It, Obviously, you know, you said it was a struggle for them at first. What was the secret to, to finally getting them to buy in? So um, we uh, we kind of had to set aside time, which is uh, I always feel crunched for time when working with our guys and because um, it's, you know, it, it's finite. There's only so much of it to go around. And um, 
So we had to be diligent about how we used our time and that we um, made it a priority. But uh, once they dug into it, I, I didn't give them too much to read at first. It was, you know, short. And the chapters are set up to where they're pretty short anyway. Um, and I had guided notes or questions that I gave them to kind of fill out as they went along. And, um, you know, they, they kind of just started buying in. And it was funny. You would hear them reference Pound the Stone at different times. Like, awesome. you know, at first it was kind of like a joke, like, ah, you know, Pound the Stone, yeah. you know. But... But then they started really buying into it and believing it. And uh, ironically, even some of the kids from last year's team uh, brought it up this year at, at one point. But um, probably the coolest part of, of reading the book with our guys was um, they. So in the book, they have to deal with a young man who actually commits suicide. And um, the team is dealing with this, but doesn't really come together and talk about how it has impacted all of them. And um, finally, at the encouragement of one of their teammates, or uh, actually the guy's friend, uh, they do come together and they have a team meeting and no coaches and they talk about it. Um, well, we took something similar to that. Uh, a lot of the kids that are on our team have some pretty tough home lives and um, circumstances that they've had to overcome. So after reading that part, I said, well, guys, you need to come together and talk and um, share with each other what exactly you have going on in your lives. Because they would all, the relationships I have with the guys is pretty strong, and they'll tell me things. But uh, they, they didn't really want to ever tell each other and let down their guard because, you know, being a high school teenager, yeah. you want to be tough. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and, and these guys, they, they spent, I think, 45 minutes to an hour – uh, as a matter of fact, I remember a mom walking in and saying, Coach, what's the deal? Like, so I'm sorry, they're, they're <laughs> kind of getting some things out of there, you know, aired out. And um, there were kids that, you know, broke down or crying. And like, you know, because a number of them had, had overcome some things that like I can't even fathom. And yeah. their ability to talk through it and then they understood where everybody was coming from uh, really bonded that group. Yeah, man, that's that's powerful stuff. Um, gosh, I'm, I'm. It is extremely apparent uh, to the rest of uh, your friends and your circle that um, that what makes you special as a as a coach and as an educator is that you know you do have that rapport with kids and that you do have that those relationships. Um, but honestly, I was surprised to hear that that they weren't really talking to each other about some of the stuff. Um, and it, what it sounds like you did is you created. Um, opportunities to learn uh, or to learn through social emotional learning you know and, and for them to really express themselves um, and and to you know just to, to learn uh, from one another and um, you know it's, it's again just such powerful stuff um, all right so you know our audience here is school counselors and other educators if they want to recreate um, you know, what you did with your guys, but maybe just for other students who seem to be struggling or who might need some um, help in that social emotional area, what do you suggest? What advice would you give them? So um, obviously the, the first thing I think, and we've talked about a little bit, is just the relationships yeah. and having them trust you enough to, you know, let, that they believe you're not just leading them down some wild goose chase. <laughs> right. Um, but I think like once they dive in with the book, uh, they learn pretty quickly that again, it's not a tough read. It's short chapters, um, it, it, and really it takes off. And it, it, I, I was actually thinking about it. It could even, like even like I know it's it's a boy who's the main character, but there's um, he has a a, a, a girl that he's interested in, and that becomes a big storyline in the in the book and. I mean, even girls could, I think, take something from this because they'll realize, oh, wait, maybe this is why that he's acting that way. And, uh, you know, the book talks about what it means to be a man and, um, you know, what society says means to be a man compared to what it actually means to be a man. Yeah. And, and I think boys or girls could take something from that and learn um that, you know, oh, wait, maybe if you're a female, maybe I shouldn't be treated this way. Yeah. Um, and so I think uh, after, it, it, again, it's a quick read, 
short chapters and and once they dive in um i mean it's a it's a good storyline um yeah so good. i think it would be pretty quick and easy for them to to get into it okay all right well that's awesome um all right so tell us a little bit about this historic season that you had last year huh. so um i we had a special group um we we're lucky to to come together the way that we did I, I do think that the book played a big part in that. Um, I, obviously, it, it takes the kids who knew, wanted to buy in and do something different right. and special. Um, you know, we, we ended up going 29-4 and beating some people that we had never beaten, uh, which was really fun and exciting. And obviously, you're, you're going to get more buy-in the more successful that you have. So, like, it's easier to – to get them to read a book when oh wait we're uh five and oh yeah you know, we haven't right. lost yet <laughs> now but, we're um, yeah. yeah absolutely but you're right but then uh but i do think like even uh it helped shape me as as a coach and um we lost to a team that that honestly we shouldn't have early in the season and um you know in the past i might have come down on pretty hard and you know really um gotten after them and i said well guys like Instead of losing my temper or acting like a jerk, I, I just said, guys, what are we going to do? Like, this is your season. Are we going to just dwell on this loss or are we going to just, you know, learn from it but move past it and try to get better? And and our guys, I think, responded to that better. So uh, even me as an adult, you know, I learned from yeah, this thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's awesome. Um, what do you have in store for for the future. Um, do you plan on doing this again? Do you plan on using a different text? What do you What are you thinking? So this year, um, my uh, counselors have been awesome, and they worked with me a little bit. And we have a we call it cat time, but essentially a a period where we get a lot of work done throughout the school day, uh, one day a week. And um, so I was able to to kind of do this book study with our guys in class uh, this year. Cool. Um, we read a different book. Uh, we we read Hidden Talent by uh, by Travis Doherty, um, which I, I I do recommend, but it was it didn't have the same sort of st storyline. Um, so the kids struggled a little bit relating to it as much. It was more uh, dry and maybe geared toward towards an adult. Yeah. Uh, now Travis, the author, was great and sent me a bunch of stuff when he heard that we were. Um, using his book and um, which was awesome yeah. but um, so I, I don't know that I'll go back to hidden talent uh, this coming year uh, my plan is probably to go to back to pound the stone uh, just because uh, again the storyline is more relatable to kids and um, it sounds like it was digestible, you know, it was like just small chunks, you know, read the small, you know, the short chapter. So it, was, it seemed doable, um, sure. which probably helped quite a bit. So Right, right. And, and it's this group will have not have read it. That's the other thing. I kind of wanted to switch it up to yeah. get a yeah. different. I get it. But they still, again, they're still uh, referencing Pound the Stone. So it's been pretty cool. They even talked about... Um, Man, we got to come together and have that meeting like we did. So, yes. you know, they're still buying into it. Yes. Um, another one you should check out. I just looked. Um, John Gordon Training okay. Camp. Uh, training Camp. I know it's it's about a football player, but um, mm -hmm. but it's about his resilience and really overcoming obstacles. Short chapters, just like you talked about. So, counselors, okay. I would suggest that one for you too, uh, for you as well. So, um, and then I was not surprised to hear you, Brian, talk about your incredible school counselors. So, thank you for giving them a shout out. Um, they yeah, are awesome thank, over at Wagner. And they are, and thank you to everyone for uh, Counselor Week this week. I hope you had a great week. Yeah, absolutely. Happy National School Counseling Week. Um, Brian O'Neill, head coach of Wagner High School's boys basketball team um, and credit recovery teacher. Thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you, Damien. All right. Take care.